Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is another look at TouchFlow 3D 2.5 build 1919, the build that we think is going to go on the HTC Leo. A lot of people really like what they saw on our previous video that showed the general functionality. Now we're gonna go a little bit deeper into some things that we've found along the way with some further exploration. At the end of this video, we'll post a link on the video to the previous video tour of the HTC Leo ROM. So let's take a look. As mentioned in the previous video, we can change the wallpaper to do a few different things. And let's go through those more, more so in depth now. So we have the weather wallpaper, which as I mentioned, will actually show you the weather condition in an animated fashion. And for some reason, you have to open the start menu to make it happen. So here it comes. Clouds kind of fly in. If it's raining, you'll have uh, raindrops. And what's interesting on this ROM is I didn't set my location. It automatically set my location. It knows that I'm near Philadelphia in Pennsylvania and it automatically adjusted the time and the weather to my location, so very cool. Let's take a look at the other backgrounds that we can choose. We have several animated wallpapers to choose from, and we showed you just one in the previous video. So let's go to this first one here. It's kind of a purple background, and you have to wait a minute to actually see the animation come through. And you can see it right here. It's a, some light moving up on the screen. Very subtle animations, which is good because you don't want it to be too distracting. And you can see kind of the shapes kind of moving in the background. Let's flip to the next uh, animated wallpaper. This is my favorite. We've seen this before. You get kind of little small colored dots bouncing around on the screen, kind of like colored water droplets. There they go. And of course, the, t the clock and all of these icons are slightly translucent. So you can actually see right through the background. And let's look at the final animated wallpaper. which probably is the most subtle of them all. And we just get sort of splashes of color in the background. Now, obviously, you can have just a static background if you want, or you can have the animated wallpaper. Now, let's go over to the Weather tab, and I can jump right there by tapping on the Weather icon. We have something new here. In all the other versions of TouchFlow 3D, you can flick your finger to go to the um, other cities that you have listed here. But the problem is, what if you have number seven set at something that you want to be number two? Well, now you can actually rearrange those. And let me show you how to do that. You go into Menu, and this is new, Rearrange Locations. So now, kind of like the Settings tab that lets you move around the TouchFlow 3D tabs, you can do this with Weather. So you can move Tokyo to slot number two and click Done. And now slot number, well, actually, it's slot number three is Tokyo. Now, if you notice, on the first on the first weather display, there's a little icon that shows kind of a compass. This shows that this is the location you're currently at. So presumably, if you travel to another city, your device would automatically detect that, change the weather, change the time if necessary, and automatically update it. Pretty cool. And one final thing to note from this ROM, if we go into Personalize, we can now change the background of the Start menu. So right now, I have this, this kind of uh, green and orange wallpaper set. I can change that. So it's actually called the lock screen wallpaper. And so let's choose just this sort of gray background, nice and solid. This is also the new waiting cursor for the HTC Leo. If we go to the start menu, we get the we get this new wallpaper. And if you go to the lock screen, it's also going to be present there. So again, that's just another quick look at some other features of the HTC Leo ROM on TouchFlow 3D 2.5 build 1919. If we find more things to show you, we'll make another video and be sure to check out our previous tour of build 1919, which walked through the Twitter functionality and a lot of other new changes. The link is on the video right now. That's it for now.